It's October, it's my birthday month, so today we're going to be reviewing the most expensive and rarest bottle in my collection. Welcome back to another episode of Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner, and today this is going to be an awesome, awesome video because I'm going to be tasting and reviewing the most expensive and rarest bottle in my collection. Now this bottle, if you can find it on wood and cork, I think it's coming out to be around like that $3,500 mark. I was able to pick this one up for about $99 back in 2001. This bottle is none other than the John J. Bowman Castrick. This is a hazmat bottle. It clocks in at 141.1 uh, proof. Its age statement is 10 years. Now the coolest thing about this bottle is it came out in 2000, 2021. And what happened that year? You're right. There was no George T. Stagg release that year. And also this bottle is rumored to be Buffalo Trace Distillate, which they then ship over to the Bowman Distillery in Virginia. And then they run it back through a set of copper stills. And that's how it becomes Virginia made <clears throat> distillate. It's still, it's just rumored. I don't know if, you know, anyone can, you know, validate that. I read on you know, like the whiskeyjug.com, you know, he seems to say that he actually talked to the master distiller and said that that is to be true. <clears throat> but back and then but then in like 2015, you know, Bowman started doing some, you know, Buffalo Trace distillate along with some of the rest. So I don't know, but all I can tell you is that I'm super excited to have this bottle. This is a lottery bottle, won it from the Virginia ABC lottery. So I have been drinking a little bit of it. Um, you'd be surprised. I do actually visit this bottle, you know, quite frequently, but I usually don't have more than like, like a half ounce pour at a time. I mean, you know, it is hazmat, so, and it is very rare, so I don't want to, you know, waste it. I want to make sure anyone that comes over that wants to have an opportunity to try it has it. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get into the nose on this. Man, so like this is dense. Like it definitely jumps right out of the glass. Get a lot of a lot of like dark chocolate covered cherries. Like that cherry sweetness is for maybe like a little like cocoa there. Like chocolate cocoa, like cacao kind of. Yeah, a lot of oak. It does smell pretty spicy, but it has a very predominant like red berry sweetness, very red berry forward. Yeah, let's go ahead and get to the pop. I mean, the nose is spectacular. I mean, one, one of the best. Cheers. Man. I mean, that is powerful. I mean, but like, there's no real ethanol, like, coming through there. Like, it is a flavor roller coaster. Like, it is... It's hard to like kind of like convey how intense those flavors are. It's hard to convey, you know, how intense those flavors are coming across on the palate. But I mean like the uh man. I mean I was a small sip and the finish is so good. Like it's a cinnamon, like that cinnamon spice is is very, very coating all over the palate. Like that red, like that deep dark rich like maraschino cherry is just so prominent and not overwhelming, but I mean, it is like the strongest cherry note that like I've, I've personally tried. Let's go in for a second sip. Man. I don't know. I mean like, if a cat were to be in pajamas, it would be, you know, this bottle right here. I mean this, I mean this, this is good. It, like you get like dark chocolate, like with all like it's you get oak, but it's not like oak heavy. Um, like you get like that's where like that dark chocolate's coming from, like from that oak. It's a sweet oak, but it's not like very prominent of an oak, but it's definitely there on the palate. Man. Mm. Like that was a little bit of a bigger sip, and it'd be like, you can just like feel the heat, you know, like going down your throat, like into your chest, and you can like feel like the back of your neck warming. Like it is just like, 
like a, almost like a full body experience here. Like this is just, I mean, it is just like an exceptional drinking experience. Like coming in at that, that 141, I mean, yeah, it's, it's warm. You're getting, you're tasting that proof, but it's not coming through an ethanol. Like it is like a true like flavor roller coaster. It is the intensity of these flavors is just, Man, like that Luxardo cherry. It's like a dark chocolate covered Luxardo cherry. It's just like you bit into it and it was like, you know, one of those like fresh Luxardo cherries. It was like just gushing with like, you know, that cherry juice like that. Like that is it. Man, like that nose. Like it is just like the dark chocolate sweetness. Man, like that is just. And like that finish is still going. Like that cinnamon spice is like still dancing all over the tongue. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is exceptional. Um, really, really happy to have this bottle on my bar. Um, I haven't personally had a George C. Sag, so like I can't, you know, compare the two or like speak from like past experiences. But I did have a buddy over the other weekend and he had had George C. Sag. So naturally, anyone that's had the, the George C. Sag, they've got to try this bottle because I always want to hear their thoughts. And he told me this is the closest thing that he's ever had to a George C. Sag. He didn't say which one was better because it had been so long since he had the stag. But anyways, I mean, that was like very reassuring for me. I mean, I can, from other reviews with like that red cherry dominant like Ford profile, it's just it's, it's exceptional. And like this, this bottle like screams all those same notes. So I can only imagine that this is, you know, as close as you can get to a George C stag. Again, I was able to get this bottle for $99. It's you know, again, the rarest bottle I have in my collection that you probably can't even really buy them. You can pay $3,500 and get one if you want, but that's ridiculous. You definitely shouldn't pay that much money for a bottle of bourbon. You have it retails for $100. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. You know, I don't always get an opportunity to drink this bottle. It's only on special occasions. October is my birthday month, so I really wanted to get this bottle review out for you guys. Again, if you want to see this bottle go toe to toe with anything else in my collection, you know, like please let me know. I'll love to make some more content with this bottle. But anyways, my name's Tanner. This is Neat Bourbon, and as always, pop the bottles and share the pours, and we'll see you in the next one.